Okay, welcome to our video on graphing inequalities on the Cartesian plane. And this really is an exploration in going from the one-dimensional line, right, the, the, the graphing of an inequality where we do stuff like x is greater than 5, and then we put on a number line and say, okay, that means x is every value on the number line that's greater than 5. We put an open circle and go like this, and x is anything there. This is the one-dimensional setup to this idea of a two-dimensional setup, right? The Cartesian plane, where we have a y-axis, this is the Cartesian plane, and an x-axis. The question is, how do we start to think about inequalities like x is greater than 5 and other inequalities on a graph like this? That's our focus in this video. So let's get started. Let's, let's take a look at this. Um, so to do that, we'll get some, of course, graph paper, right? Let's say we just, that's the example we were just using was um, the inequality where x is greater than 5. Well, now that we're in two dimensions, of course, we have both an x and a y axis, x and y. So the x values are focused along the x axis, and the y values are focused along the, the y axis. So now this is fun because here... We're, we're looking at points where the x value, right? We're looking at x, y points where our x value is greater than 5. That's what this means now. So I could pick any point, like this point. Well, let's first label our grid. I'm sorry. So this would be 1 and 2, 3, 4, and here's 5. Now, any point I pick, this point, this one over here, all of these points what they all have in common is that their x value right over here is bigger than 5. And in fact, just like on a one-dimensional number line, there are an infinite number of points that satisfy this requirement. And what we could do is set up a dashed line at 5, a vertical line, right? Saying that everything to the right of this line, we would just shade in to the right of this line, all of these points for every direction, up, down, and to the right of this, of this dotted line, satisfy this requirement where the x value of the coordinate is bigger than 5. As a quick example, let's go with this one. This point, what is this point? Well, if we go over 6, 7, 8, and then up 2, 1, 2. So this point A, we'll call it, point A has an x value of 8, right? 6, 7, 8, and a y value of 2. So yes, in this case, the first number is our x value. Our x is bigger than 5. So we've graphed that inequality. And the dotted line, right? This dotted line means that x cannot equal, right? It can't equal 5. Um, now, on a number line, we would use an open circle for the situation. Here, we use the dotted line. So that dotted line is analogous to the open circle. Of course, we could say x is greater than or equal to 5. That would mean that x could equal 5. And we just change this a little bit by turning our dotted line into a solid line. Now this means that not only could all these points to the right, right, work here as a solution because all of those points have an x value value bigger than 5, but now even points on this line right, work as well. Even this point here, we'll call it point B. Point B works right, because point B is at 5, 0. And now x can equal 5. right? So A works, of course, because 8, the number 8, is greater than or equal to 5. But B works now, too, because in B, the x value is 5. It's 5, 0, this point. And that works as well. And this could go for, for y values as well. And that's where things really get fun. And we can even look at the intersection of regions. So here's the y value of 2, let's say. And if I said, all right, graph everything where the y value is bigger than or equal to 2. So that's every point above 2 on the y-axis. And I can say, oh, graph the intersection of x is greater than or equal to 5 and y is greater than or equal to 2. So here in the red, right, this line says everything above it, right, for all the points that are above this red line, 
our y value is greater than or equal to 2. So any of these points here will work, even points on the line. And if I said look for the intersection, that means you're talking about this region right here. Right? And it keeps going, of course, up and beyond the grid. But this region is our intersection. This would be our solution to the points where x is bigger than or equal to 5 and y is greater than or equal to 2. So these kind of this idea really extends far into graphing inequalities on a Cartesian plane. Let's look at some more fun examples. So again, we're going to a graph, and we can graph lines. I can graph in the form y equals, let's say, 2x plus 4. Now, a little background here if you don't know. Uh, we, this will graph a line. And simply put, this number in this form, 4, represents the point 0, 4. That's called the y-intercept because that's where our line crosses the y-axis, right, at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, right here. Let me use a darker color there. So that's our y-intercept at 0, 4. And then this number, this 2, is our slope, or our m-value. That's our change in y, fancy little triangle delta y or delta x, our change in y over change in x. And it just means, 2 would mean, because 2 equals 2 over 1, our slope equals 2 over 1, that means the top number, our delta y, if we start at any point on the line, and we know this is a point right here, that means our difference in y is, our slope is we go up 2 in the y direction, and the bottom number tells us how far over to go in the x direction. It's the change in y over the change in x. That's our slope. So we go up 2 over 1 because that's what the slope says, 2 over 1. And we can keep going up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, and so forth. And then in the reverse direction, down 2 and back 1, down 2 and back 1. But you only would have needed to look at two points, because two points graph a line. Now here, right, we connect these points, and that forms a wonderful and nice line. And that's what this would be. And if you're not comfortable with that, you could just plug in random x values into this equation, and it will give you y values. And generally, we're graphing lines. This is a nice form to take. But what if I said, uh, instead of an equality, what if I change it around and said, all right, now let's think about this. Let's think about where y, right, instead of being equal to 2x plus 4, maybe it's less than. 2x plus 4. What would that mean? Well, now, right, we're, we know that when y equals 2x plus 4, right, we're at this red line. Where y is less than 2x plus 4, we're picking all the points where the y value, right, is below this value right here. In other words, it's below the line. So I could pick a point here or here anything below the line. Now since my line's already solid, right, I'll say y is less than or equal to the value of this line. And in fact we can end up shading in this whole region here. Right? All of this area, including the line, would be part of your solution. You could pick any point there. And that's what this inequality would mean. A dotted line, just like before, would represent when y is just less than instead of less than or equal 2x plus 4. Now if I had switched to say y is greater than, let me undo this, y is greater than 2x plus 4, well that would just mean, right, if I just cross this out, greater than or equal to 2x plus 4, I'm picking all points where the y value is above the line 2x plus 4. So I would shade this region in as well. And this is just a fun concept to help us understand these types of inequalities, and these are a little bit tougher, but you can just imagine, of course, that if I graph another line, let's say where the y-intercept is down here at negative 2, right, and our slope is going back like this, right, here's our line. Let me just line up. No pun intended. Oops. So this line, for example, now, this line right here, I know, of course, how this is working, that basic idea, again, you look at the y-intercept, 
And if you haven't seen this before, hang in there. This y-intercept is what? Well, it's 0, negative 2. And the slope is, is different now. It's negative because when I go up in my y, I go back in the x. So it's up 1, back 1, up 1, back 1. So this line would have an equation where y equals negative x or negative 1 over 1x, right? And minus 2 our, our y-intercept. Anyway, if I change this to say y is greater than or equal to negative x minus 2, that would include the region above this line. And I could say, well, when do these two things have a common solution set? These two equations, where y is greater than or equal to negative x minus 2, or y is greater than or equal to 2x plus 4. Well, in that case, I'm looking at the intersection, this region in here. And I, they often they might ask you a question like, find a point, right? That's in the solution set of both of these lines, right? So, or both of these inequalities. And you could just pick a point in this region. So that's the basic idea of, it's just an intro, of course, to graphing inequalities on a Cartesian plane. We'll create some other videos where we look at various examples, and, and that'll really help solidify your understanding of this topic. All right, hope you enjoyed.